ओके वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वॉम वेलकम टू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज बी रंजना एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विथ आवर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस होप यू ऑल विल इन्जॉय एंड दिस इज फॉर क्लास एट जोग्राफी चैप्टर नंबर थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज माइग्रेशन होप यू ऑल आर यू ऑल हैव बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट रिगार्डिंग द माइग्रेशन ओके बेसिक नॉलेज लाइक वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ माइग्रेशन यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड आई होप वी से यूजली द मूवमेंट ऑफ द पीपल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर इज नोन एज माइग्रेशन ओके सो बेसिक कंसेप्ट आई होप यू ऑल हैव सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले आई लाइक टू प्रोसेड विथ माई टॉपिक ओके फर्स्ट लेट एस सी Now what we are going to discuss in this chapter, okay? First we will see what we are going to discuss in this chapter, okay? What are our learning objectives, okay? See here in the here in this chapter we will try to understand the concept of the migration. Ah, uh, you all are you all have a basic concept. of migration but in the chapter we are going to learn a proper definition of the migration then we will discuss the types of migration then reason of migration why people are moving from one place to another reason that is very important and we will also try to analyze the impact of the migration then we will explain the very important concept that is brain drain okay this is very important concept brain drain okay so these all are our learning objectives so we will try to discuss and understand all this concept okay now uh let us understand what is migration okay see migration uh, this is very important and interesting topic as well because the concept we need in our day to day life this is the era of an globalization we all are in the era of technology so we need to understand the concept of the migration very properly okay now let us see the definition of migration the proper migration migration is the movement of people from their place of origin to another with the intention of settling down temporarily or permanently i am highlighting the word settling down temporarily and permanently now you can easily differentiate between the normal movement and the migration we people usually move from one place to another okay uh, for example we visit different places as a tourist so tourism is the movement of the people the people you know visit the different area for their official work for their personal work that is also the movement of the people but when there is no intention of settling down temporarily or permanently that time that movement we will not consider as the migration when the movement of the people from their place of origin to another with the intention of settling down temporarily or permanently that time we consider the movement as migration clear hope i hope definition you all have understand okay uh see migration uh, one important thing you need to understand this migration is not at all a new phenomenon okay migration have occurred throughout the human history the earliest known human migration occurred when the early humans move out of africa million of years ago okay since then uh, we have witnessed a several human migration um sometimes in a large scale sometimes in a smaller scales but uh, there is a evidence of the movement of the people since time immemorial okay <laughs> so the migration is not at all new phenomenon okay now we have to discuss the very important thing the reason for the migration why people are moving okay for what reason people are moving okay people can migrate for a several several reason okay there uh, you see if we see the history then early humans early humans they migrated mainly in search of food okay because we all know that the early humans were mainly a food uh, gatherer or hunters then uh, they 
migrated in response to the climate change sometimes sudden change in the climate the extreme type of the climate um that was unbearable for the people so they used to move from one place to another in search of the favorable climatic conditions okay then natural disaster you all understand like uh, uh, flood earthquake drought so these all are the natural uh, disaster uh, that compel the people to move from one place to another okay this we are talking for early humans okay but if you see the recent trend the recent trend of the migration migration then people mainly move for economic reason social reason and political reason okay if we will see the recent trend okay today migration occurs mainly for economic social and the political reason okay up to here clear now see migration occurs mainly for two factors this is the reason for the migration but migration occurs mainly for two factors so what are those factors see one is your push factor and another one is your pull factor okay migration occurs mainly for this push factor and the pull factor now what is push factor the factor that cause people to leave a place are called push factor so whichever factor makes the people leave their place is known as your push factor now what is pull factor you can understand from this diagram factors that draw that draw migrants towards a place are called your pull factor so push means leave so you can easily understand the push factor means the factors that cause people to leave their place and pull factors the factors that draw migrants towards the place okay so the migration occurs mainly for this push factors and the pull factors okay now we will discuss what are the push factors and the pull factors you all can follow this flow chart see the push factors see sometimes the condition in a place can turn unfavorable this unfavorable conditions push or force people to move out of that place okay so some major push factors are you all can see the natural disaster the natural disasters ultimately lead to the loss of property and the livelihood you all can uh, take the example of the nepal earthquake 2015 okay how that earthquake uh, you know have resulted into the loss of property and the livelihood then you all can take this poor medical facility pollution poor housing these is all comes under your infrastructure facility okay inadequate infrastructure facility can also be the one of the push factors okay if if people are not provided with the adequate infrastructure facility the basic infrastructure facility like a uh, medical like uh, you know uh, housing the road the waters uh, sanitation facility then people tend to move to other places okay then apart from this another important is discriminations okay this is very important social push factor uh, sometimes the people are not being equally treated okay the people are being discriminating on the basis of their race uh, caste culture okay that that compel the people to move out from that places then war if the war kind of situation occur in a place then people will tend to move out to those places where they can have their peaceful life okay then you have this uh, slavery or the forced labor this all this is also one of the push factors because 
this slavery or the forced laborers can lead to a uh, various types of the crime okay the people will not feel uh, secure uh, there will be a lack of security there will be a high rate of the crimes so people will not have that mental peace the people will not that people will not get that social security so the people will tend to move out of that places then apart from this in the, the education okay then you know economic stability economic stability if there is no uh, proper facility of the education if there is no uh, you know economic stability in the country then people people tend to move to other parts of the world you can take the example of india only nowadays the people are moving towards the uh, you know european countries and uh, dubai has become a very happening place for the job seekers so for the uh, for the economic stability the people will move to those countries the countries which can provide the better economic facility economic stability then you can uh, take the for education you can consider the european countries like america the people are going uh, to the european countries like america germany for their higher education to pursue their higher educations okay so if the place fails to provide all these basic facilities then people that compel or that makes the people to move from their place of origin so this is your push factor understood i hope you all are clear if you are not clear if you have any doubts regarding the topic then we will be doing our uh, doubt clearing class in the zoom class okay okay now see the pull factors okay the pull factors some places have certain favorable characteristics that draw or pull migrants towards them okay this is known as your pull factor okay just opposite to the push push means to leave pull means to draw the people okay towards them okay now see what are the pull factors pull factors see for the pull factors this is very easy and the basic uh, basic basic con concept like a better living condition if the place provide the better living condition for the people then obviously the people will move to those area okay then the feeling of having more political or the religious freedom as i said in the push factor where the people are with where people are being you know equally treated where the people are given equal opportunity then people will tend to move to those places so if the places provide religious and the political freedom then obviously that will become a very good pull factors to draw the uh, migrants towards them then job opportunities okay mainly i said in the beginning of the class the people are moving mainly for the economic reason okay so job opportunities are another important pull factor because if you see the recent trend of the migration then people are moving towards the different parts of the country mainly for the job purpose okay so job opportunities is a very uh, you know important pull factors then better medical care also another important pull factors okay the country which provide a better medical uh, facilities the people will uh, people will obviously attract towards them then education another important factor we i already said that uh, you know why the america the germany the very you know uh, rich economic country are getting uh, more migrant people because of this education okay because they have a very good provision of the education so they uh, they are attracting they are drawing the attention of the so many youths from the different other uh, you know asian or the other developing countries then this is not employ enjoyment this is employment this is employment opportunities same as job opportunities or the employment facilities okay so these all are your pull factors okay the better infrastructure facility better living conditions okay uh, good education system employment opportunity and economic and the political stability good economic and the political stability draw the attention of the people from the various parts of the world okay so this is your pull factor and this is your 
push factor okay so hope i hope you all are clear with the pull and push you simply understand push means push means to move or to leave okay push means uh, see uh, that uh, force or uh, okay push means the uh, unfavorable condition that force the people to leave okay so push so push means push you will understand leave leave what's wrong then and pull means that will draw the attention that will draw the attention of the people especially the migrants i hope you all are clear with the topic push factor and the pull factor okay let's quickly recapitulate what we have learned till here we started with the definition of the migration then we learned the reason for the migration what can be the reason for the migration okay we compared the migrate migration or type of the migration between the early humans and the recent trend then we discussed the push factors and the pull factors clear okay so this is all about the push factor and the pull factors now we will see the types of the migration okay we will see the types of the migration for the types of the migration first i will like to highlight the two important term that is your emigration and immigration okay emigration and immigration these are the two major types of the migration emigration and the immigration so let us see what is immigration and the immigration you can take down the definition of the emigration and the immigration immigration is the act of permanently moving out of the one place permanently moving out of one place place the people who move out of one place are thus called immigrants the people who move out of one place are thus called immigrants then what is immigration this is emi and this is emi immigration is the act of permanently moving to a place other than one's origin so you can easily understand that people who immigrate are called immigrants who immigrate immigrants who emigrate they are called immigrants now let let us see the one example for this immigration and the immigration see okay suppose suppose you are moving you are moving from usa to france you are moving from usa to france so here you will be called as the immigrants you will be called as the immigrants because you are going to another place leaving your place of origin okay so you will be called as the immigrants and the france and the france in but and in the france you will be considered as the immigrants because you are moving to a place other than you are coming to the place other than your place of origin okay so you will be called here immigrants and here in the france you will be called as the immigrants okay so the simply you can understand if you are leaving from india if you are leaving from india and you are going to usa 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 you are going to usa okay for india you will be considered as the immigrants because you are leaving the place of your origin and usa you will you will be considered as the immigrants because usa is receiving the people which you know who are not of their origin means who are means whose birth place is not there in the usa so you all can uh, now understand i have given the example of the usa and france india and the usa okay so this is the basic difference between the emigration and the 
immigration okay okay now tell me one thing suppose you all have heard in the airport no means immigration dex immigration dex so that means if uh, suppose you all have visited one airport suppose the kolkata airport you all have seen there the immigration dex the people who all are coming from the foreign they have to do their immigration because they are coming to other countries okay so the receiving country okay the receiving country they do the immigration and the parent country the parent country they are they are you know considered as the immigration the parent country they will do the immigration and the receiving country they will do the immigration understand so this is emigration and the immigration hope you all have understand if you have not understand then we will be doing doubt clearing classes in the zoom map okay no issues okay then now let us uh, discuss very quickly all the different types of the migration apart from this immigration and the emigration and the immigration we have a different types of the migrations okay now see this is the very simple flow chart from the flow chart you can understand we have already dealt with the immigration emigration and the immigration now apart from this emigration and the immigration we have a internal migration this is very um, you know basic and the simple concept you all will be able to understand quickly so internal migration when the people moves within their own country that time we call it as a internal migration internal migration can be your ruler to urban urban to ruler ruler to ruler and urban to urban okay now see ruler to urban why people will move to ruler to urban places for obvious reason for better economic facility better infrastructure facility like your roadways railways the transport the better sewage the healthcare facility for all these better infrastructure facilities for education purpose for the job purpose they will tend to move to the urban areas in india you all can see the uh, you all can uh, you know mm, uh, see the exam live example like the people are moving to the metros cities like delhi mumbai um chennai why people are moving for better facilities so for the better infrastructural facility people will move to ruler to urban places so urban to ruler okay just opposite to that why people will move to urban to ruler places okay after the retirement sometimes the people wants to you know return back to their original home and sometimes you know due to the uh, pollution the very pollution is another important reason in the metro cities so due to the pollution the people will feel to settle in a peace and a calm area in their uh, villages and sometimes due to economic problem also the people will move to urban to rural areas then ruler to ruler okay why people will move ruler to ruler people will move ruler to ruler areas for very basic reasons like you know in the ruler area the main occupation of the people are agriculture so wherever they will find a fertile land wherever they will you know uh, find a very convenient place uh, for them to settle down then they will tend to move to the ruler to ruler areas the better employment facilities you know and you know uh, the good climatic conditions okay in rural areas also especially the farmers they will uh, try to seek a place where the climatic condition is better for their agriculture uh, the fertile soil the fertile land that attract the people towards them okay so ruler to ruler mainly for your agricultural climatic and the uh, agri um, you know uh, fertile soil people migrate and why people will migrate urban to urban why people move from urban to urban people migrate between the cities for better opportunities of education and the employment you know some people live very big cities for the less crowded cleaner uh, cleaner and you know uh, very peaceful cities and the 
towns okay for example many people have l many people have moved from uh, mumbai to your navi mumbai thane and you all have you all have heard about that you know a new satellite cities uh, gurugram which has been set uh, very near to delhi so people are moving within the cities okay uh, where they can uh, settle but they will get the same facilities uh, like metropolitan cities but independently okay now what is satellite cities satellite cities you know the satellite cities means the smaller metropolitan areas located near the larger cities okay but that cities function independently okay that is satellite cities the satellite satellite uh, satellite cities have been developed uh, you know to manage uh, the population and the resource efficiently okay so that is the concept of this satellite city so this is all about your internal migration okay this is easy i hope A ruler to urban urban to ruler ruler to ruler and urban to urban okay now let us see the external migration now see the external migration this is an interesting external migration occurs when people move across international border to settle in a, another country okay external migration also called here international migration okay here we have learned internal migration that is within the country but external migration means outside the country okay to another country so it is known as your international migration as well so legal <coughs> migrants in external migrants we have legal migrants okay first we will see what is legal migrants these are the people who have been granted the right of entry by the government of the country they are emigrating into okay different countries are the different rule for their emigrants okay uh, you see uh, in usa the emigrants if if the emigrants are legal then they can reside uh, and they can work without any restriction if you are a legal emigrants if you are a legal emigrants then you can reside and you can work in usa without any restriction okay usa provide the provision of the legal migrants so for example you can see the many people from nepal bangladesh india they are going to the usa as a legal immigrants okay i m m i because usa is the host country means they are attracting or they are drawing the uh, means they are receiving the people okay and suppose uh, from india they are going that means india is the parent country they are producing immigrants em a e m i and i m m i you have to understand this basic difference so legal migrants are nothing but the people who you know who actually who have been granted the right of entry okay by the government by the government of the country they are emigrating into okay again for the we can divide the legal migrants into permanent and temporary migrants the permanent migrants and the temporary permanent migrants settle permanently in the country they are move into and become the citizens like you all have heard no the green card holders they are the permanent residents okay like that and the temporary migrants they are legal but temporary means they will stay there for a certain period of the time and they will uh, you know come back to their own original country their own uh, you know mother country you can say so the per under legal migrants we have permanent and the temporary those who will take the citizen of the host country okay those who will take the citizen of the host country suppose usa is the host country if you are taking the citizenship of the usa then you can reside permanently in the usa or else you can just be a temporary migrants you will be staying in the usa for a certain period of the 
time okay so the permanent and the temporary then again we have another uh, types that is okay uh, before going to the illegal migrants one thing you need to understand here for this permanent uh, legal migrants they will get the citizenship for this temporary migrants for this temporary migrants what happen they will get the visa you have to understand the term visa for these certain years okay uh, like uh, like united arab Emirates host many migrant workers from india pakistan uh, nepal bangladesh okay so they will give a certain period of time or they will provide the uh, you know visa for the certain years and they uh, within that uh, certain periods they can work in the host country and they can send um, back their money and they will after completing their term of visa they will return back their own mother country okay this is for temporary migrant and permanent i already said they will get the citizenship of the host country okay then illegal migrant understand in what is illegal migrant okay illegal migrants is nothing and this is very easy the migrants who you know reside in a country without any valid documents or the permissions okay you don't have to go very far to understand this illegal migrants you can take the example of our own country like india because we are receiving uh, you know large number of the illegal migrants from your bangladesh and the nepal who come to our country and settle in the different parts of the country without any valid documents document and the permission okay so those migrants who come who you know who actually reside in a country without any valid documents or any permission those migrants are known as your illegal migrants okay this is very simple i hope you all have understand uh, this uh, refugee or uh, the forced migrants and the refugee okay refugee are the migrants who have been who have been forced to leave their country okay for various reasons like political sometimes racial sometimes religious security threats okay you can take the example like you know rohingya refugees from the myanmar okay they have been forced to leave the country and you all have seen that india have received some of the rohingya refugees then you know bhutanese uh, nepali bhutanese uh, refugee means due to their uh, political and the uh, you know uh, security uh, reason uh, the nepali who are residing in the bhutans have been sent to the uh, sent to nepal so there are bhutan generating nepali refugees and if you see the global example then um, the war in syria the war can also be the factor which create the refugee or the forced migrants okay war in syria has forced many people to leave their uh, leave their homes and many of uh, them they have been settled in the different parts of the europe and and some of them have settled in the turkeys so these are the forced migrants means the people they have been forced to leave their country for the religious reason sometime okay for the um racial reason means racial discrimination sometimes uh, the people feel that the cultures are not matching among the citizenship okay religious are not matching means there is no uniform religion no uniform racial groups then that time uh, the government or the uh, host country will uh, you know you know forcefully send the people from their country okay for their security purpose they are called the forced migrants and the refugees okay so this you need to understand what is refugee the forced migrants they have been forcefully sent by the uh, country or they have been forced to leave their mother country okay this migrants are known as your forced migrants and they refuse it. okay so far we have done the types of the migration immigration emigration immigration the internal migration very easy then the external migration okay i hope you all have understand with the topic so i will wind up here only because i will be continuing with the remaining topic in my next video that is migration part 
to okay okay quickly we will quickly recapitulate the thing first we start with the first we have started with the concept of the migration okay fine then we did the reason for the migration okay and then we uh, we have done push factor and the pull factor i hope you all are clear with the push factor and the pull factor okay then after push factor and the pull factor we have done the types of the migration first we discuss about the emigration okay emigration immigration emigration i gi i have given the example of the usa france india usa india dubai okay Im emigration means host country and means from where the immigrants are generating and immigration parent country you can understand where they are receiving the immigrants from the different country then we did the internal migration this is easy ruler to urban urban to ruler ruler to ruler and urban to urban then we did external migration under external migration we discuss legal migrants under legal migrants who permanent and temporary migrants legal migration simply you understand who have been granted who have been you know legally granted by the government to reside in that particular place so permanent like nri and for temporary you can say the visa holder then the illegal migrants the migrants who settle in a place without any valid documents or without any permission illegal migrants i provided with the example of the bangladesh nepal migrants in india okay then forced migrants and the refugee okay lastly forced migrants and the refugee okay refugee i said that the forced migrant or they have been forced to leave their country for various reasons okay so this much for today so i will be um, dealing with the remaining topic in my next video that is migration part 2 hope you all have understand if you have any doubts regarding the topics we can connect by a zoom app through the live classes there we can have the interaction classes there we will be discussing the question and answers i'll be providing with the home assignments and some project works too and some uh, you know uh, essay writings etc okay okay thank you keep watching okay stay safe stay healthy goodbye